talk to you about today is ways in which small changes in behavior that draw upon the psychology of people can have a huge impact on important issues. We know that descriptive product labels for food increase people's enjoyment of the food and make them more likely to buy the food again. We can think of some products that could benefit from such descriptive labels. People will drink less out of a tall glass. They will eat less off a small plate. And that actually holds for healthy and unhealthy foods. So if we want to increase our consumption of healthy foods, we can put them on larger plates. Simply imagining consuming your favorite food will make you eat less of it. So here are some ideas that we might use to help us understand one of these important issues. Games of chance and the prospect of immediate wealth. It's addictive and it triggers pleasure centers of the brain. So can we transfer that excitement to savings activities? It turns out that people are more willing to open a savings account if there's a prize-based element to it. So if people are told that as part of this savings account, you will win awards or win prizes as you save more. And especially lower and middle income people express enthusiasm about this kind of savings product. I'd like you to imagine for a moment you're going to a dinner party. You're at the grocery store buying your compulsory bottle of wine. And you're tempted by this great offer. And you think for a moment, when that bottle of wine gets opened at the party, and you think, what if that bottle of wine is terrible? And you imagine the disapproving looks of the host and of the other guests. And that prospect is enough to motivate you to spend more on that bottle of wine, to buy a, a better bottle of wine. I'd like to suggest that we might be able to extend this to climate change, to environmentally conscious behavior. If we ask people to imagine what a world will look like, what our world will look like, if we allow our climate to be compromised. If you wear red, you will be more attractive to members of the opposite sex. I don't come up with this. This is the research. <laughs> if they are holding a warm drink, they will see you as more friendly and be more generous. And if they've washed their hands recently or they're sitting in a comfortable chair, they will be more open-minded. So perhaps, <laughs> so perhaps hot tea, soft chairs, wearing red, and an abundance of hand sanitizer may help us bring opposing parties closer together. The idea here is there are some really interesting insights from psychology that can tell us how we might help people develop habits that are not only in their long-term best interest, but in the long-term best interest of people in general. So, thank you. <laughs>